Procrastination. That's the topic we're going to have here on Relationship Monday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplified Myers, author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook. Get rid of your problems, not your partner. Now, I know procrastination probably sounds like a, a, a different or a crazy topic to have on Self-Love Monday, but think about it. How many people really put themselves down and tear yourselves down because of procrastination? You're saying there's something that you need to do and every time you put it off, you start to talk badly about yourself. Isn't that what self-love is all about? Self-care? A lot of times uh, in those particular instances, the things that you say to yourself like you're lazy and and you, you know, you need to uh, be more of a go-getter and you know the some of the other kind of conversations we could come up with are things that we would never ever say to someone else but we say them to ourselves we are our biggest critic i remember hearing a guy it was funny i was uh learning or uh, doing learning some real estate at the time and and my man was saying that he was so organized in his life that he planned procrastination <laughs> and i thought that was hilarious my man was like he puts it actually in his schedule he'll go like from three to four o'clock today i'm procrastinating so his thing if anything comes up between three to four i ain't doing it why because i'm procrastinating and i thought that was so funny but here's the thing you guys know with me i always try to look at things uh, from different perspectives. Uh, I don't know if that's just me one, <laughs> one to create issues, but I do. Um, I've always kind of looked at procrastinate. I remember a long time ago I did a video and um, I talked about how procrastination could probably actually be one of your best friends. Because think about this. Um, matter of fact, I was I was looking up uh, not too long ago about, about procrastination and it was saying about there's been scientific research and um, there's so many different things, stacks of why people are actually procrastinating. And I'm just like, man, we're making this stuff way too complicated. You guys know I always laugh at that because I'm like, remember, we do things in life for one of two reasons. To avoid pain or to gain pleasure. We don't have to do a bunch of research to figure this out. One of two reasons, avoid pain or to gain pleasure. So you have to ask yourself, when you, and that's the reason I did the thing about procrastination uh, could be one of your best friends, because you have to ask, why am I procrastinating? Why is it that I don't want to do this? Sometimes it's because we said yes when we should have said no. We've talked about that before where we have to get better at that, at learning how to say no. Now, that doesn't mean become one of those people that say no to everything because you practice and say no. I didn't say go to the other side, but you guys know what I'm talking about. We get to the point where people will take advantage of your time and they will use it up if you allow them. Or there's just things you just don't want to do. So... Even if a job, if you really don't want to do it and you're sitting there procrastinating because you got to go to work, it's back to what I'm, what I'm talking about here. Why is it that you're having a hard time going here and you go, because I don't like my job? Okay, that's, that's good. But see, now we're getting to the real issue. We don't have to do a scientific research to figure this out. Just ask the question. Why is it I don't like my job? What is it about the job I don't like? This work, self-care, and this is why we're talking about here on Self Love Monday, is because you got to ask the question. Because most people, they abuse themselves, batter themselves, talk bad about themselves when they procrastinate. Or their friends or family member will talk bad about them when they quote-unquote procrastinate. It's like, man, you don't never do take care of business. You don't. You got to ask why. Why is it I don't want to do this? I am a firm believer, and this is why I did the video a long time ago when I talked about that, is I said, if I'm putting it off, obviously there's a reason 
I'm putting it off. If it's because I'm tired, I need some rest. Folks, those are real reasons that you need to put it off because you're not going to perform at your best. It's like trying to study in school. When you get to the point where your mind is just, you just, you're out of it, but you're still trying to study, you're wasting time. Now, I know you're going to say you're procrastinating now because you know you should be doing it. And yeah, you probably procrastinated up to that point where you're being forced to, to actually do it at this, at this point. But the bottom line is, if you're not grabbing the information, you are wasting your time. Take care of you. And I've done that, matter of fact, during my school days. I, I'd get to that. I'd wait till I'm one of those. I'd wait till the last minute to do the assignments. I, I did. I still ace anything that I was doing, but I, I and I kept telling my time myself, I'm never going to do this again. And back to that, that conversation we're talking about where you beat yourself up. I'm like, I don't know why you do this, and I'm never going to do this again. And, and, and you guys know I continue to do it. Some of you probably have been or are guilty of that now. But uh, why are you putting it off? And that's really the question. And again, what I was getting to with the studying is if you're getting to a point where you're not taking in the information, and I would do that when I was cramming, I would just say, you know what? I'm gonna go to sleep, set my alarm for maybe an hour or two, go get me some rest. Yes, I'm putting it off, but there's a reason I'm putting it off because I understand right now I'm, I'm wasting time. I'm not taking in the information. It's, it's no benefit to me whatsoever. I'm torturing myself. I'm not doing the self-care and the self-love of what we're talking about. Now, I shouldn't put myself in that position to begin with, but I did. But what I'm saying is, but we should always be able to adjust and take care of ourselves. So my thing is, ask the question, why? Why are you putting it off? Even if it's something that has to be done, because some people go, well, I have to do it. Do you have to do it or does it have to be done? See, there is a difference because anything you really, really, really don't want to do and that's the reason you're procrastinating, you probably shouldn't do it. You guys know I always close out my, 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 uh, my talks when I'm saying if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. That's my point. That's what I'm getting to. If the reason that you're procrastinating, whatever word I was going to come up with, if the reason that you're procrastinating is because it's not what you want to do and you're not having fun, you shouldn't be doing it. So procrastination is not a bad thing. It's telling you. It's talking to you. There's a reason you don't have a passion. And I'm a firm believer, hire someone to do it if it's something that has to be done and you don't want to do it, because that's what it's telling you. This is not my talent. This is not something that gets me pumped up and excited. Let me find someone who does and let them do it. Why? They're going to do a better job than you because it's something they want to do. And the job is getting done. Now, I understand there's certain situations that you'll find yourself in where you have to get it done and you don't want to do it. Those are those times that you're going to have to, again, have a different conversation because, again, I'm never going to tell you beating yourself up is the answer because that's never it. That's why this is about self-care and self-love. That's never the answer. But you can ask yourself, how did I get to this position? Why did I get in this point? Just kind of what I was saying with, with the course, I mean, with the schooling. And tell yourself you're not going to put yourself in that position again, but you have to come up with good, good enough reasons why. Because, again, we do things for one or two reasons. To avoid pain of the game, pleasure. So the only way you're going to change that story is if it's painful for me to get started now, I'm going to have to make it painful to wait to the end. You guys see how I got to twist the story? I got to make it more painful to wait to the last minute to, to so that I'll do it earlier. Or if I'm thinking it's painful to do now, I'll keep putting it off. So as long as we understand that, that's really, that's again why, why I said I'm laughing when I when I kept looking and, and people got all these stacks of things on why people procrastinate and what science has said. Folks, it ain't that hard. You do it to avoid pain or to gain pleasure. Learn how to use it in your advantage like the gentleman. Plan it. He just, so he's having fun. He's like, 
I ain't gonna do nothing for the next hour. I'm just, anything come up, I ain't doing it. Why? I'm procrastinating. See, that's having fun with procrastination. You guys know my thing is have fun with all of this stuff. When you have conversations with yourself, have fun with the voice. You talking to it anyway, why beat it up? Why beat yourself up? The key is have a conversation, <laughs> make fun of it, and you might realize why you don't want to do it and just go, huh, who can I call? <laughs> they would love to do this and let them do it. So let procrastination be your guide and, and not an enemy, just like I keep telling you with your boy. It's not an enemy. It's actually letting you know, like the mind, and for those of you who didn't hear when I had that conversation, the voice is not an enemy as the world keeps trying to make it sound. Its job is to protect you and to keep you safe. So now that you understand that, whenever it tells you something, realize it's trying to say, take a safe route because it's trying to keep you from pain. You just have to see if, thank you for sharing, but I to get over across the road, I can't listen to that because you're going to have me stand over here if I keep listening to you telling me, well, there's cars driving across fast and we could fall down on the way across the street and all these justifications of why I should stay here. That's not an enemy. That's someone who's trying to protect me. But I understand that you live in the safe zone and I appreciate that. So that's the difference. And that's why I said have the conversation and be like, I got to get across the road and I'm going. You just play it safe and you watch out for me. And it's the same thing with procrastination. Have that conversation and figure out why is it that I don't want to do it. And if I can hire someone to do it, hire them. You shouldn't be, again, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Do not look at procrastination as a negative. Look at it as your friend. All these things that we keep, again, everything is perspective. It's perspective. Learn how to use these things to our advantage in the same thing with procrastination. Make it your friend. And as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Now, for those of you who um, I talked to on Relationship Thursday, I look forward to talking to you on Thursday. For the, those of you who, on, who on, uh, we're talking about self-love, I'll talk to you on Monday. And again, this one I felt was real important because, again, I was just having the conversation with someone and, and they were doing kind of what we're talking about. They were beating themselves up because the fact is, they're like, I know I need to do it. And folks... This is about self-love, self-care. Quit beating yourself up. Quit looking at procrastination as an enemy. Make it your friend and have fun with it and realize it's telling you, I don't want to do this. We just have to ask why and see if we can get someone else to do it or change our perspective on it if it's something that needs to be done right now so that later we can hire somebody to do it where we don't have to continue to do it. And as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.